Hi, my name is Sharon. I'm a developer for HPE ALM Octane. In our group, when more than 500 developers work together on the same project, it's quite common to be caught in a situation where I'm checking in code and the build fails. Then, I'm required to help with the investigation and need to prove that it's not my change that caused the failure. As you can imagine, such failures can sometimes stop the entire development process and all developers get stuck until the problem is discovered and fixed if the failure is severe. Think about the potential aggregated idle time and delays for the entire group. What you're about to see here is a conversation which I had with one of my lunch buddies yesterday but could happen every day and it does. Let me just do the commit quickly before I go to lunch. Oh, I just got an email that indicates that some tests failed in the new build and they might be related to my code change. Let me take you through the investigation process using failure analysis in the Octane Pipeline module. When I click on the link, I am redirected into the failure analysis module. The main purpose of this module is to help solve build failures quickly and efficiently. Here I can see the failed tests, the problematic tests, and the related users, as well as the committers. Wow, I can see we have a lot of committers and many test failures. Let's try to figure out what is going on. I start by eliminating failing tests that are not related to my commit. I can see that some tests have already been marked as on it and some as problematic, so I guess I am left with the other tests. I start by filtering out the tests that have not been handled. And then I filter out the problematic tests. In this case, the tests that are continuously failing and the regression tests. I can see at the top all related users and me marked with a bolt badge. This means that the system has identified me as suspected for some test failures. Octane has an algorithm that analyzes which commits are related to test failures. I can click on my avatar and check the tests that have been identified as related to my commit. After clicking my avatar, I can see only three tests remaining. I can scroll through the related commits and find my one. And it's right. I did commit the failure. I'll click I'm on it and go to my IDE to quickly commit and push the fix. I track the pipeline status and see that it's back to normal. Now I can go to lunch. <laughs>